Hello, my name is Christine Clark. I'm 23 years old and I want to be a teacher. Um, I don't have a grade preference, but I'll be licensed in kindergarten through sixth grade and I'll have a minor in special needs, which will be extremely helpful for all students. So I'm really glad to have that. Um, my passion for education, it really was found when I was a student. Um, I was one of those kids that actually really liked school. And I feel like school is a huge contributor to who we become. So if I had great teachers and great support, I'm going to succeed and I'm going to hopefully do what I love best in my life. Um, if I have teachers that aren't as supportive and they don't push me to do the best that I can, I might not reach my full potential. So I think that becoming a teacher is extremely important that I provide that support and that I I really take care of my students because they're our future. Um, whatever I do for them, they're going to carry out throughout their life. And I want the world to continue to go around and I want this world to be a better place. And I think that touching one life can make a big difference. Um, having said that, I attend Purdue Northwest to obtain my license and my degree. Um, I really like the program there. I think that the professors offer a lot of support and a lot of good insight. And I think that that's going to help me really become a good teacher. Um, <clears throat> leading into um, what kind of go teacher do go to teacher do I want to be? I really love math. So I'm hoping that I can be a teacher that provides good math support. Um, maybe students want to come to me after school or, you know, in between classes, if, if I'm in the middle school or something like that. Um, I would really love for students to be like, oh yeah, go to Miss Clark. She's really good at math and she can really help you. That would be awesome. Um, another kind of support that I'd like to provide is, you know, just encouragement, emotional support. I think all students probably need that at some point in their lives, if not all the time. Uh, you never know what kind of home life students might have, whether it's good or bad, or if they're just having a bad day, or, you know, the family might be having a hard time, like, you always want to be a consistent and supportive adult in their life, trustworthy, somebody that they can rely on, because they spend a lot of time with you. So as a teacher, I hope that I can be the go-to for anything that they need. So that's, that's my definition of what I hope to be. Um, Having said that, in all of my field experiences this far, um, I really went in kind of nervous. I was terrified. Um, all you're thinking as you enter that building is, I hope the students will like me. Uh, I hope that I can have a control of the room and the atmosphere and that respect will be there. And, you know, you don't want to upset anybody. You don't want to disarray the classroom. I learned so much um, and each semester I learned more but this past semester in field experience I really valued because at the end of the few weeks that we were there students were hugging me and saying goodbye and asking when we could see them again and that really that felt so special to me because I knew that I did make some kind of impact while I was there in the few weeks that I was there and it's like if I learned that in that short amount of time, what am I going to learn in my years of teaching and how many lives will I touch by doing so? Um, I almost want to cry just saying that. I'm sorry, but I think that's awesome. And I know teaching is going to be it for me. And I hope that the students will be really happy with what I have to offer. So... <laughs> To sum it all up, um, I'm the teacher that is going to wear my heart on my sleeve and I really hope that the students will appreciate that and that they'll open up and let me be there for them because I had a teacher that was there for me and I think that it really showed me what kind of person I want to be.